everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best value fifth wheels in the entire RV industry. Dollar for dollar, you get the absolute most in this unit. This is a 2023 Wildcat 1 model 36 MB. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Wildcat and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you guys pound the pound for pound champ for fifth wheels, the Wildcat one. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? Guys, it's going good. Uh, we just wrapped up the Tampa show. Tampa Summer Show. Tampa, Tampa Summer Show, and um, I'm really excited to be back recording, and it was so great meeting all of you guys. And again, the Wildcat just really has a lot of value behind it. Yes. Right? And um, it definitely has like really, really good value, and um, I can't wait to show everybody. Not only that, Will, there was a nice big redesign for this unit. Yes. Um, if you take a look at this Wildcat, this is the way it did look. Now it looks this way. It's a lot cleaner look, real fresh. And for those of you who don't know, Will and I, we do a lot of batch recording so yes. Will can gallivant around the country with Jen <laughs> um, and I can just slave away here in Florida. But we're glad to have you back, Will. Thanks. All right, let's begin. Model is Wildcat 37MB. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 42 feet 7 inches the dry weight is 11,252 pounds and the hitch weight is 2,335 pounds now well this is a mid profile fifth wheel but it's still a long fifth wheel right it's still a big fifth wheel and then um what i really like about this unit is a lot of simplistic designs for sure in the clean look starting with the new redesign wildcat one it just says w1 you know what i'm saying it yep. looks good not all those stickers and decals there's still a few but just not many painted fiberglass front cap looks great right here we have the lippert rhino box okay for the pin box and then underneath here is storage with a huge storage spot for your right. spare tire no generator prep on this okay coming on down here well it's been a while since we've done reviews i know right here we got our propane tanks very okay. nice if you can look down the side, again, very simple. Just a little pinstripe action right there. Yeah. This unit really is designed to save a ton of money. Storage there. They have this little cubby in here. In case you want to keep stuff separated. All the tie downs in there are nice. Yes, and you can access that cubby from this door here. Cool. Yes, sir. Very, very nice. We do have a really nice power awning with LED right. lights. No awning on that slide out there. But here's what I will say, Will. This is a, a majority of the length. It is, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? So it really isn't that bad. Right here we do have a power cable spray port and psh, America John Cena. Coming on down the side here, we do have these very nice solid steps. Okay. Grab handle right there, a light to get into the door. Really, really nice. Something else that I want to point out this does have the extended season camping package and the underbelly armor you know what i'm saying yes. so it's it's gonna do a lot better job in the colder climate right and then look at these tires well they're trailer kings i love those these are st 235-80 r16 with your regular axles right there nice coming on down coming on down we do have manual stabilizing jacks. Will, we've talked about this before in the past, and I wasn't a huge, and I'm still not a huge fan of right. manual stabilizing jacks. But the whole thing is, when we tell you guys the sale price, right? There's, it's there's a difference between the sale price and selling price. Yeah. You know I mean? Sale price is what we're allowed to advertise. It for. Right. Right. After negotiations, what I saw this unit selling for <clears throat> at the Tampa show, what you can get this for is absolutely phenomenal. It is. And so it's like, yeah, I have to do the stabilizing jacks myself, 
but I'm also saving $10,000 compared to another unit in the same size sure. per square footage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If and it's not for everybody and that's the whole point. Correct. This is for the specific people who don't need all the bells and whistles, who don't mind getting on their hands and knees to put the stabilizing jacks down, but want to save the money. Burr, 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 burr. Will couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Coming around the back. Dang nab it will no ladder to get up on the roof. Everybody's switching to those slipper uh, yeah. fold up ladders, which I actually I'm not minding. Yeah. Uh, it, it is TPO roof, two AC units, prep for the Furion backup camera. Very nice. And again, just a clean design. For sure. Right here, Will, is the 50 amp uh, power okay. hookup. And then coming on down, Will, look at all these slide outs. Right. Okay, right underneath there, that's where you're dumping your tanks. Okay. Yes, sir. Over here, I'm glad they didn't go cheap here. The instant hot tankless water heater. Right. Love that's that nice. feature. The other side of the storage right there. Okay. okay. And then over here, we have some more electrical hookups. Right? Here's yep. all your water, your landing control gears. And then here, now we have lights, Will. There you go. The Lord said, let there be lights. And then he made a battery jump box. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great. Simple, clean, W1. But the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. I'm glad to have my best friend back. How are you? Check out the inside. Okay, we'll start up front. You got the bedroom up front here. Bathroom right behind it here. Coming downstairs. You have your bunk room here in the middle. And then in the back is your kitchen, living area, and dining area, all combined into one. Yes, sir. And well, we got a few more lights to get on. And yeah. while we're getting them on, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right, well, we are starting back here. And again, guys, wait till you hear the price because everything that you're getting in here is fan freaking fantastic. I mean, I can't even throw a football the length of this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right back here, we do have nice windows. Super tall storage. Show us what that looks like, Will. Okay, great storage up top here. Yes, sir. And up top here. Yes, very nice. Right here we do have regular valances. Right, a lot of plain stuff, a lot of neutral stuff. It makes everybody happy. Right. And tables with USB and power there. Same on that side, same over there, right there next to the theater seats. Okay. Which is really important, Will. You got it. You got to stay plugged into the matrix. For sure. Hey, Will. Yeah. If the matrix looks real, are you taking the red pill or the blue pill? I don't know. I, I, I don't mind the matrix. Yeah. Um, can I be honest with you? I'm totally happy here. I'm not Neo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. Right. Right here, Will, we have a nice pull out tri cushion uh, sofa mattress. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They ain't got this if you take the blue pill, Will. Right. 
They ain't got that in, in, in the real world. You right. keep your real world. I am doing just fine in my matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Remember that episode of The Office where they're trying to trick Dwight? Or whoever his name was? Trick him. Into thinking that the Matrix was real, and then, like, I he ended up. Hmm. Whatever. I don't remember that one. I did watch The Office, but. <sighs> nice big windows around here. These side windows do open, these two big windows do not open. Right. We do have the Thomas Paine theater seat sofa here. Well, no additional purchase for the recliner seat. There you, you know go. what I'm saying? Really nice, gets the job done, and I am looking directly across at the TV Entertainment Center. So first, look at the nice wood color. Yeah. Kind of two-tone action. Right. Plenty of storage, huh? Does it pass all the way through? It sure does. That's nice. Cool. Nice 39-inch HD LED TV. Yep. Little storage right there and a fireplace. What is nice about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity. I'd like to point out, nice flush floor slide. I'm surprised to see that in here, Wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Over here, also flush floor. It is carpet, but I don't mind it that much. Right. Not over here. Right here, Will, I wanted to show everybody this. We do have a very nice dinette. Let me sit down and show everybody. Nice dinette. I don't know if you're sitting four here. Maybe if you're all skinny folk, but right. you know, big boy tested, you know, this this a me and Will, you know, type of type of dinette. It drops yep. down to make the bed. I do like this big window here, it makes it feel open, bright, and fresh. And then here's what I love, Will. I took the cushion off of that. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because it's a cornhole board. It's a cornhole board, Will. You can actually take this out and set up your own game of cornhole with the wildcat, wild, wildcat one emblem right there yep I love super that, nice actually. i do love that well well do you know what time it is it's now time for the msrp, MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. well we done messed up it's already heating up in here huh? yes sir just so everybody knows we are going to be in ohio or pennsylvania next week yep hopefully a lot cooler well msrp on this fifth wheel here is $86,043. Well, not too bad for MSRP. MSRP. Sale price, Jen. Please put the sale price right there so everybody can see who's watching on TV. But, Will, mm -hmm. I know we can get everybody a lot better price than that sale price. Um, and I saw what these were selling for at the show. Will, if you want to get the absolute best fifth wheel, pound for pound. Mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather, the Floyd Mayweather of fifth wheels. Here's the deal, guys. Will could beat up Floyd Mayweather purely because of your size. Right, I but, don't know about that. But, you know, pound for pound, Yeah. Okay? pound for pound. The pound for pound champ, go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or you can call 844-969 4033 will reach out to us on any RV in America and we will help you guys get the absolute best price in America. That's right. Will, show us this kitchen. Cool. We'll start right over here. Huge pantry right there. Yes. Tons and tons of food storage, which you'll need for that mid bunk. Little Greystone microwave right here. Okay. With the Greystone range hood right there. And a Greystone oven. And a Greystone oven. You got the glass cover, three burners. Blue lights Ooh. and oven down below. Yes, sir. All right next to that, a little more storage there. A little bit of countertop space on both sides, and they even put a built-in paper towel holder. I right love there. that. There's a drawer underneath that oven. Oh, I missed that. Of course you did. You know why? Because right. you're gallivanting around the country, <laughs> guys. If you want to see well in, yes, if you want to see Wellen Jen gallivant around America and just exp have have the time of their life. What's your YouTube channel name? Just Will and Jen. Will and Jen. Make sure you guys YouTube. subscribe to that. Um, Compressor refrigerator here. Really good size for this trailer. Yeah. Um, and then underneath, there's a little bit of storage with a little step stool. Do there. you know what that is, Will? A step stool. You've never needed one of those, have you? No. Yeah. <laughs> and then behind all that is the kitchen island. Yeah. A little bit of countertop space. Nice extension faucet mm. there. Big single bowl sink. 
drawers here, and again, soft closed drawers. Yes, very nice. Which again, I was not expecting that either. Good, good storage. Hey! Underneath. That's a $156 trash there can. Is. Cool, that wraps up the kitchen. Nice. We're now going in here, Will. Look at this, I love how they kind of designed this different. Yeah. The overhead loft area is in the mid bunk room. That just kind of makes sense. Yeah, for sure. You know, like it was in like the Keep hallway, it, it was kind of weird, you yeah. know? Over here, well, look at all of this storage in the mid bunk. You do not get this. No, you really don't. Now here's what I will say, this eliminates you using the mid bunk as an office. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, well, maybe not really. I mean, you, you, you possibly- Oh no, no, it doesn't flip up. I mean, you, you could do some demolition derby in here and, and then make it into yeah. an office. But um, but still, nice bunk beds over here, bunk beds there. There's even uh, another mattress that they give you underneath if you want to set something up in the middle. Yeah. No, this is an awesome mid-bunk room. It is, actually. I'm actually surprised. Like, this is one of the best mid-bunk rooms yeah. I've seen. Yeah, yeah. And again, when we're in this style of unit, you don't expect to see the best of anything. Right, except right. Except the price, mm -hmm. you know? So really really awesome stuff going on here in that mid bunk room okay well we got something cool coming up in just a second okay right here little what is this not not a jacket holder not, i mean a key holder i guess key holder yep dog leash. Uh, push button everything I like that yes sir okay very nice just a little nook And then, well, I'm not going to beat around the bush at all. Okay. Look at what we got going on there. Liquify. This is our brand of black tank chemical. Now, you guys are watching this. We do not have the tablets yet, but the tablets are coming within the next 30 to 45 days. We still have the liquid. Guys, if you guys are interested in using our brand of black tank chemical, go to primepoopinposition.com and Amazon and you can pick up a bottle. Yes. Or coming soon, a bag. Right. Think of me when you poop. There you go. Well, does that not look good? It really does look good. I like that packaging. You know, I do a great job designing. Yeah, you. Yeah. No, that is Miss Jennifer Knowles. Okay, this shower is actually really good because there's no step up. Yeah. I, mean, I shouldn't say really good, but for this size. Per capita. Class, yeah. They put the skylight in the right place. There's decent width, decent depth. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of the curtain, but it definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. That's right. Right over here, Will, we have a nice little mirror to get set up. Sink and storage underneath there. Okay. So, Will, I want to let everybody know, 100% of our products made in America. Right. Not only that, this product, the tabs, 100% of it is made in Elkhart, Indiana. There you go. And Miss Barbara, she does all our packaging. She's out with a company in Elkhart. She says that they have never seen a bag that looks this good. Of course not. Jennifer Knowles, that is Will's wife if you don't know. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. But you know what makes her amazing? What? Good leadership. Yeah. <laughs> Plastic toilet, womp, 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 womp. Well, this is not a prime pooping position. Here's what I will say, it's doable for poopable. I'd swap this out if I were you guys. Yeah. Because you do have plenty of space in here. For sure. Coming on into the master bedroom. Very nice king size bed. Look at all of this. Washer prepped dryer prepped. For a washer dryer. Stackable too. Really? Yeah, look at how much space there is. Crazy. Yeah. Second AC unit in here, very nice. Show this closet really quick. Really good closet space, actually. It's not super deep, but nice and wide. Nice headboard here. Good size bed. Store, a little bit of storage underneath the bed. Okay. Uh, it is prepped for the TV mm -hmm. right there. And then here's your dressers, right? You got your drawers right here. Yeah. Very nice. Really nice, and then one more super duper nice second AC unit already coming on it. Lots of really good stuff here, and a Furion Wi Fi router. Awesome, super nice. Yeah, also power right there, USB on that side. Good to know. I'm trying to make sure. Well, it's been so long since we right, we gotta make sure we hit everything. Well, well, that's it, that's the review. Now, before everybody leaves. 
It's time to give people three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like. First. Okay. Um, I'm going to go first. Okay. I'm going to say the storage in here, yeah. the storage in here, and the fact that you're able to get a washer dryer. Yeah. Was not expecting that in a unit like this. Not at all. And for it to still have that much size and everything is pretty nice. It is, yeah. That is number one. Will, like number two? Um, I'm gonna combo a couple things. I'm gonna say the second AC unit. Oh, starts. okay. Uh, again, at this price point, the shower and the bathroom setup, it wasn't a porcelain toilet, but everything, you know, space-wise was good. For sure. And then the last little touch, but I love the cornhole aspect. Like, oh yeah. Uh, you know, camping's all about having fun and corn, like camping and cornhole just go good together. And cornhole boards are a pain to store. Like yeah, because they're so storage, big, yeah. right? So I love that idea. Well, yeah. I have our 2023 shirt design idea. See you. So last year, if you guys don't know, we had Give Me Porcelain or Give Me yeah. Death. I just figured it out. Okay. Cornhole Camping America. Hell go. yeah, guys, comment down below if you love that t-shirt <laughs> idea. Cornhole Camping America. That's right. That's three things we like about it. Now it's time for no, three things. two. Oh, that's number two. Number three, well, I do love this mid-bunk room. Yeah. And I do love how they incorporated the loft in the room. For sure. And I do like how they incorporated a fourth Additional, sleeping area yeah. for there. Cornhole Camping America. Well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't love about it. Womp, 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 womp. May I go first? Sure. With the utmost respect, the manual stabilizing jack. Yeah. That's not for me whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I want to push a button I am not the get on my hands and knees and dirty type of, man, let's fix something up. Right. Hey, boy, I, I, I'm not changing my oil right. to save 100 bucks. Yeah, exactly. I'm paying Jiffy Loop. You hear that, Jiffy Loop? I'm coming with my vehicle. Right. That is me. Here's what I will say. If you do like to save $10,000 and you, it takes two seconds, boom, mm -hmm. not only that, if you keep it permanently parked somewhere, there's the no manual need. stabilizing yeah. jacks better than the electric right, one. You right. know what I'm saying? That's just like number one, my opinion. Well, what's this like number two? Just like number two for me is also going to be the on the outside, and that's going to be the second awning. I do mm. think, even though I know they're trying to get the keep the price down, yeah. But this trailer, truthfully, is all about getting the family out and camping. Cornhole camping America, right? And you know, cornhole happens outside, like just the added shade and everything. I think they should have bump the price slightly to give you that. 10-4, Will, we don't make them, we just review them. Yep. I love that, that's number two. And my number three, Will, is gonna be uh, one that I haven't said ever, I don't think. Okay. And um, just for me, I wish they just would've put side windows there. Yeah, get Personally. that cross breeze. A little and... cross breeze, a little more light. You I know, agree. see what's going on. Okay. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That is the all new, let me go over here. The all new Forest River Wildcat One, the redesign. Looks absolutely fantastic. If you guys are interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash matchcash. Linked it down below on our website or call the phone number you see on the screen. And Will, yeah. make sure you guys sign up for our newsletter at mattsrvreviews.com. If you don't like liquefied in liquid form and you wanna be the first to know about it in tablet form, in pod form, coming in 30 to 45 days when it gets shipped to Amazon. And don't worry guys, you know we're gonna have a video of course. on YouTube when it comes out. Thank you everybody for the support of helping us build a very successful business disrupting the black tank industry in the RV market. That's right. Will, what do you got to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Again, this is such a good travel or good fifth wheel, especially if you're just trying to get the family out, get them camping and not break the bank too bad while doing it. Yep. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this floor plan. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much you. for watching and Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.